This question is to evaluate limits with L'Hopital's rule. Determine the value of the limit as x approaches zero of the following fraction. The numerator is sine of x minus tangent of x, and the denominator is x cubed. First step is to direct substitution and identify the indeterminate form. First, let's substitute zero for x in the expression. The numerator becomes sine of zero minus tangent of zero, which is zero minus zero, resulting in zero. The denominator is zero cubed, which is also zero. This gives us the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero, which tells us we need to use a special method to find the answer. Next step, first application of L'Hopital's rule. Now we apply L'Hopital's rule. We take the derivative of the top and the bottom separately. The derivative of the numerator, sine of x minus tangent of x, is cosine of x minus secant squared of x. The derivative of the denominator, x cubed, is three times x squared. Let's check this new limit by plugging in zero for x. The numerator becomes cosine of zero minus secant squared of zero, which is one minus one, or zero. The denominator becomes three times zero squared, which is zero. We still have the form zero divided by zero, so we need to apply the rule again. Next step, second application of L'Hopital's rule. Let's repeat the process. The derivative of our new numerator, cosine of x minus secant squared of x, is negative sine of x minus two times secant squared of x times tangent of x. The derivative of our new denominator, three times x squared, is six times x. Checking this limit at x equals zero gives us negative sine of zero minus two times secant squared of zero times tangent of zero in the numerator, which equals zero. The denominator is six times zero, which is also zero. We still have zero divided by zero, so we must apply the rule one last time. Next step, third application and final evaluation. For our third application, the derivative of the numerator is negative cosine of x minus the quantity of four times secant squared of x times tangent square of x plus two times secant to the fourth power of x. The derivative of the denominator, six times x, is simply six. Now, we can substitute zero for x into this final expression. The numerator becomes negative cosine of zero minus four times secant squared of zero times tangent square of zero minus two times secant to the fourth of zero. This calculates to negative one minus zero minus two, which equals negative three. The denominator is six. Therefore, the final answer is negative three divided by six, which simplifies to negative one half. That's it for this question solving. This video is based on our math tutoring blog and class recordings. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel Math Tutor 8285 and turn on the notification bell. Press the like button. Thank you so much.